Oh, thank you. Oh. Um, so, Fall Guys is ending. Maggie, as a character, has always been about the fight, about war, even perhaps before the invasion happened. What happens to her if the war is over? Yeah. That's the biggest challenge for Maggie. You hit it right on the head. Um, she starts to consider that about halfway through the season. Has she been wrong? And what does she really want with her life? The spikes are driving her completely nuts. And it becomes less about the love triangle for her and more about who she is, who she wants to be, and how she wants to live the rest of her life. And she deals with that. I can't tell you how she does deal with it. And I think by the end of the season, it's interesting probably for the fans to see how she surrenders to a place. I won't tell you what that place is, but she does surrender and I know everyone's been talking about the love triangle, etc. But I guess what I might wonder is what the sci-fi spin on that love story with the spikes uh, and with you know that the, those being a part of her attraction. How is that really? Is that really a choice between you know who she was before and who she could be later, or is that just about? the spikes themselves being a thing she doesn't trust. Yeah, I think it's a combination. Um, for, for Max, the spikes are... You know, there's pretty much... She hates having... Yeah, she hates having an alien being here. Maggie's whole life is here about trusting her gut, trusting herself, and taking care of herself, and she's the influence of these spikes. It's like, that's taken away from so she resents them, but I do think she goes through a phase where she's having fun. Get this is, yeah, this is. She's having fun running around with Ben and also being a useful to the second half. Yeah. You know, like being a bit of a superhero. But that gets old. Well, thank you very much. Bye.